This morning, we are remembering architect John Chase, who passed away back in 2012, and really looking at the impact this man had on Austin and the world. He was born in Maryland, then came to UT, the first African-American to enroll in and graduate from UT's School of Architecture back in the 1950s. He then became the first African-American to practice architecture in the state of Texas. He went on to design some really cool buildings here in Austin and all over the globe, from remodels of the Astrodome to the U.S. Embassy in Tunisia. Here with us this morning is UT professor, Dr. Tara Dudley, and she's the perfect person to talk to about this because you are writing a book on John Chase right now. That's correct. I'm in the process of working on what will essentially be the first biography um, on John Chase's life and career. So it'll serve not only as a very broad introduction to the man himself, but also to his work from the start of his career, essentially here in Austin, throughout his work in Houston and internationally. Gotcha. Well, let's talk about his work first. He has such unique designs. Mm -hmm. What is it that made his design special and unique? I think it was just a very personal approach to mid-century modern architecture. John Chase was very influential in bringing not only mid-century modernism to this region of the country, so to the South, to Texas um, in particular, but also to the various African-American communities in which he resided and then worked. I love mid-century modern. It's my favorite look. Um, he's got so many cool looking houses. And here in Austin, mm -hmm. the Phillips House is one there in East Austin and David Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. Talk about, yes. talk about those. Absolutely. Um, just, you know, literally right across the street from one another. And before I even really knew who John Chase was, I'm not a native Austinite. And, um, you know, driving into campus or um, from where I lived on the east of, um, of 183, I would always pass those two structures in particular. And it was always just, you know, really striking and exciting. And I always wondered about that home, the Phillips House, which was recently nominated to the National Register of Historic Places. And so that's a wonderful achievement for that particular dwelling. But I think it was, you know, one of the sort of pièces de résistance of, of Chase's work here in Austin, in addition to David Chapel. And so you have some really interesting and unique approaches to modern forms with the Phillips House. And of course, that um, those folding plates in that roof line and the different levels and um, having to work with the exigencies of the site there on that hill as you're going up MLK. And so I think um, that's a really interesting and, and wonderful property that he designed. It was completed in, in 1966. And then before that, in 59, he um, initially did the work on David Chapel and did some later work in the 60s on that property as well. But that particular project actually came out of his master's thesis from the University of Texas, which was about progressive architecture for Black churches. Um, and so David Chapel was one of the congregations that he literally took his thesis to as a way to promote himself as an architect and really develop his career, but also get business and uh, create modern architecture for various communities throughout the country. And so uh, both very important parts in his early career. And I think we're very lucky uh, to have those works in Austin. Dr. Tara Dudley, thank you so much. Thank you.